Welcome, welcome, welcome in. Season 3, Week 14 of Colts Franchise. A team in turmoil. Let's talk about it. All right, so this is most likely about our offense being great and our defense being terrible. Yeah, so the problem is we're playing the 49ers. So I don't want to guarantee a win, but like we need a win. Show improvement. I mean, we can, we're only, we're six and six. We don't need to win out to make the playoffs, I don't think. I mean, what do we have? Four games left? So five games left. Allow two or fewer offensive touchdowns? Are you serious? That's tougher than winning the game. Well, that's not good. Taking a look at the playoff picture leading into this week. The Titans are leading our division. Uh, they've been drafting really well. And we gave them some wins. I mean, what can I say? The Cardinals and Chiefs looking at first round buys. The Falcons were looking at a first round buy last week. And now they're all the way down to four. Very interesting. Tight NFC race over there. But as far as we go, we just need some wins, man. Uh, we got to make the playoffs. Let's take a look at the team that we're facing and hopefully they won't destroy us. All right, taking a look at the 49ers and this is gonna be another really tough one. They're still rocking with Brock Purdy at quarterback and why not? He gets the job done. Looks like they've drafted a couple of quarterbacks but none of, neither of them is, is really very good. Both normal dev. Christian McCaffrey, of course. Still rocking the Superstar X Factor, Ankle Breaker, Backfield Master, Evasive, Leapfrog, and Playmaker. One of the best in the league. Kyle Juszczyk, one of the only fullbacks in the league with superstar abilities. Probably the only one. He's rocking Tank, Secure Protector, and Nasty Streak, which is just disgusting. Um, at receiver, still rocking Debo Samuel and Brandon Ayuk, although neither one of them with superstar abilities. And then Reed Fitzsimmons here is a rookie with star development out of Washington State. So a nice pickup for them. Khalil Clements, a second-year player. Uh, George Kittle, still here, still dominating people at tight end. Rugging Yakima, grab and go, route apprentice, and matchup nightmare. I mean, he's a stud. What can we say? Now, Trent Williams is gone. They replaced him second-year tackle Marcus Brown. But that's not where they stopped when drafting on the offensive line. Uh, their offensive line isn't great, but they do have uh, Matt Jones right here who is a rookie out of Oregon, and he's hidden. It hasn't been revealed yet, but taking a peek, he is superstar development. So that's really huge when you can draft a superstar uh, offensive lineman. And, of course, the 49ers lose Trent Williams and then immediately get them another superstar tackle. Nick Bosa might be the best player we've played against. Uh, he's rocking. He's a 99 speed rusher, 99 power rusher, 97 run stopper. Rocking Relentless, Unpredictable, Edge Threat Elite, Reach Elite, and No Outsiders. Basically avoid his side of the field. Drake Jackson on the other side is not quite as good, but still pretty good. They've also got John Keaton, second year defensive tackle, star dev. Uh, D winners here. And then, of course, Fred Warner. I mean, need I say more? Uh, Zone Hawk, Mid Zone KO, Deflator, Lurker, and Pick Artist. This is going to be insane. Dre Greenlaw at right linebacker. Charvarius Ward still rocking superstar. He's got short route KO, inside shade, and tip drill. So that'll be interesting when we try to run those, those bubble screens. And then this year, Will Elliott out of USC drafted superstar X Factor. He's rocking reinforcement and reach elite. Only a 78 overall right now. Uh, Talano Hufanga still the strong safety here. And then Jake Moody and former Colt. Rigoberto Sanchez holding it down for the 49ers. Let's go ahead and hop into practice. Oh my gosh. Okay, incomplete pass. Come on. Yes, sir. Mark Felix with the gold medal. Can we get an upgrade from superstar to superstar X Factor? Who knows? We will see. Doubt it, but okay. All right. Here's who we're training. Uh, we'll let y'all know if we get any upgrades. Yeah, yeah. There's no dev trade upgrades. Um, We are without... Who else? Uh, we're without Josh Downs and Connor Stockton this week. Uh, they'll both be back next week, but lingering injuries for them will keep them out for this week. Otherwise, though, I think we are ready to hop into it. Big, big game against the 49ers here uh, at Candlestick Park or whatever they call it these days. Uh, Levi's Stadium. Yeah, that's right. Six and six us, seven and five them. Let's hop into it. 
Ooh, Levi Stadium, Sunday night prom time, looking good. Fans are filing in. Player showcase this week on Anthony Richardson. 4,250 yards, 28 touchdowns, 14 interceptions. We've thrown a lot of picks. We're only six and six, but I think we're on pace to have like a historic passing season. So that's good. Unfortunately, we have to play against Fred Warner and Dre Greenlaw and Nick Bosa and Traverius Ward. So this is going to be a tough one. Let's hop into it. All right, here comes Brad Purdy. Taking a look now at his season so far. 2,500 yards, 19 touchdowns, only two interceptions. Wow. By the way, y'all, I am actually streaming right now while recording this game, which is a first for this franchise. Um, if the quality is not there, then I will not stream while recording this. But I would like to be able to do both. So we'll just see. I apologize if the quality is a little bit lower than what you're used to. But we'll, we'll, we'll just see how it works out, you know. All right, here we go. Here we go. First down and 10. The Priest lurking. They're going to hand it off to Debo Samuel. And Brendan Priester and Nick Cross able to get the tackle there. Very nice. Love to see it. It's going to bring up a second down and seven here. Let's go with... They're, they're back in the Debo package. But I... They're just going to hand it off here to the running back. Brian Burns comes from the other side. Brooks with a five-yard gain gets hit in the backfield. Plows ahead. Going to make it third down and one. Mm. I mean, you got to think that they're, they're, they're running the ball here, right? No, they're going to run RPO, and it's a catch. Oh, man. That's to the second string tight end, Latu, Cam Latu. And I thought that we had gotten the stop there, but unfortunately, it will be a first down. Moving on. All right, first and 10, Purdy. McCaffrey dotting the eye with Kyle Juszczyk right in front of him. It's a scary thing to say, because there goes McCaffrey. There goes McCaffrey up the middle, 19 yards on his first carry of the game. It's not ideal, boys. It's not ideal. All right, here we go. First down, 10 yards to go. They're going to hand it off here to Brooks, the second string running back. He, Oh, no, that's M Matt Jones, the rookie right tackle with an injury. Brooks with the carry for three yards. And that's going to bring up a second down and seven here. Purdy in the backfield. We cannot let Kittle get it. Nice! Brian Burns with the sack. I had a feeling they maybe were going for George Kittle there. We, we keep it covered. And Purdy hangs in there too long. Brian Burns is able to get the sack. All right, here we go. Third down, 17. First big defensive play of the game. They're going to try and dump it underneath to McCaffrey. The pressure is there from Derrick Brown. Brock Purdy not able to make anything happen. And we're going to force a point. All right, here we go. Just starting it off. They do have the box kind of loaded here. So I'm actually going to audible. Not to that. That's not what I wanted to do. How about a little bench swap? I was going to start off running it. But you know what? Screw it. Let's pass it. Okay, all right. That's what happens when you try to pass it against the 49ers. Now, remember, our best receiver is out this game, uh, Josh Downs. I mean, arguably our best receiver. Honestly, all three of our receivers have had a great year so far. LaVisca Chenault is going to break free for 14 yards on his first carry, and that'll make it first down and 10. Moving ahead here, let's go back to the ground. This time, a read option to JT. Now, remember, you know... We talked about this before. If you want to get elite edges out of the game, read options are how you do it. You read off of them and then just run opposite of where they're going. So eight yards there for JT. Uh, Nick Bosa kind of left it open for us, and now it's going to bring up a second down and two. Here, Tyler Babb. Nice catch. Let's go. We're moving. We're moving. Tyler Babb with a chance to have a big game with Josh Downs out. So we will see how it goes. All right, first down, 10 yards to go. Anthony Richardson driving back. We got Bab over the middle. Let's go. He's speedy. Oh, he made one miss. And did you see Fred Warner? He just laid out for him there. Man, we had a chance to break free. I want to break free. All right, here we go. I'll play extra boot. 
Lob it up there. Pittman's got it. Yes, sir. Fred Warner there to make the tackle again. Wow. All right, here we go. First and goal now. Big start for our offense. We're going to motion out here. Looks like we're reading off a of Charvarius Ward in the slot. He's going to crash down. McBride's got the block with everybody saying A R 5. Yeah. Touchdown, Colts. Really, really big. Coming off of the bye week and two big losses. We're going to dance just straight into the crowd there. Mad disrespectful by Anthony Richardson. And that's a touchdown. We're going to go up 7 0. Beautiful. All right, here we go. First down, 10 yards to go. They will hand it off to McCaffrey. He dances a little too much and kind of gets nailed in the hole there by Brian Burns and Trenton Simpson. Got to be second down and eight coming up after that handoff. All right, we got the Priest. Brendan Priest are lurking in the middle of the field. Oh, good coverage. Leonard Williams and Brian Burns going to combine for the sack. Our second sack of Brock Purdy this game. It's going to bring up a massive third down and 20. Our defense is on one so far this game. Let's use our Trenton Simpson here. We got Kittle in the slot. Can't let him get us. Oh, my gosh. Their starting right tackle got injured, and we have just gone full mad rush on them. We love to see it. All right. First and 10. Let's come out passing the ball a little bit here. Uh, yeah, I mean, I like this just how it is. I like Mr. Rogers used to say. I love you just the way you are. Jelani Woods catches uh, a bit of a floater. Let's go a little no huddle right here. How about it? And this time, let's send Tyler Babb over across here. And just leave him on this crossing route. We got a little, little levels concept going here. Anthony Richardson. Oh! Right when I was going to throw it, the Niners get in with a sack of their own. I held on to it way too long there. I mean, we had plenty of time to throw it. But I was trying to let some stuff develop that just didn't develop. So, let's move Tyler Babb in here. Third down and 11. Give him a little space to run that route. Let's get some time here. There he is. There he is. He's fast. He makes a man miss. Down to the five-yard line. It is Tyler Babb, the rookie, stepping in for Josh Downs. And we got that out just at the last second. We love to see it. First and goal coming up from the five. All right, here we go. Going to send JT in motion here. Look for Rasheed Rice. If not, maybe one of these hitch routes. No, Rasheed Rice has got it, baby. Let's go. The man goes in motion, follows the running back. We're able to get the ball in. Rasheed Rice with his mid 2000s celebration with Quentin Nelson and AR. Go to 14 nothing. This is huge for us because I mean, we we have been struggling these past few weeks. So, I love it. All right, here we go, y'all. First down, 10 yards to go. Let's get it going. And off Christian McCaffrey. Uh-oh, he's got a gap. Nick Cross luckily has got that secure tackler uh uh superstar ability. Otherwise, we might have been chasing right there and that's the that's the problem with the Niners right they've got so many playmakers that at any moment they could just change the game hello did you see that pancake my goodness I could have gotten 20 yards on that run holy cow all right here we go possibly the last play of the first quarter coming up uh there's the snap from Purdy they're going to go underneath to McCaffrey again. This time, Jalen Jones is able to shake off of the block from Brandon Ayuk. Makes the tackle after one yard. And at the end of one, we have a 14-0 lead. Beautiful stuff happening here. And we just need to keep it up. I mean, they are driving. So, don't love to see that. But if we can keep things up here, maybe hold them to a field goal, that would be insanely dope. Second and nine coming up. First play of the quarter. Purdy tries to throw it, but Brian Burns is in there again. Hell low. We need to get my man back to superstar. You know, he was a superstar at the beginning of the franchise. But when we traded for him from Carolina, he had actually fallen to star. So Purdy's just going to have to throw it away here. Our coverage is immaculate there. And it's going to be 4th and 17. We're holding them to a field goal. Not a gimme, though. 
Jake Moody lining up for a 51 yarder. Here's the snap. It's up and good. All right, gonna be 14-3. Nice job, D. Nice job. All right, we got a 14-3 lead here. First play of the drive. We're just gonna we're gonna go a little play action because they're going with the two high safeties. They did bring some pressure. Pittman though is open enough to make this catch. What a throw from Anthony Richardson on the run, getting hit, fires it downfield. Beautiful. Everything going our way right now. So I'm sure something rage inducing is upcoming. Until then though. We're coming up first and 10 from the 40. They're going to crash, so we will keep it here. Man, I really wish Jelani Woods would have blocked Fred Warner there. I want Fred Warner to hit my quarterback as few times as possible, please. All right, second down now, five yards to go. We're going with a little wide zone here. Just need to get the edge. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Maybe, oh my gosh. Is that Deshaun Elliott? No, that's like a, like a rookie that they drafted, but still, he should be ashamed. Of how he just got juked. Outside zone coming here. Two running backs in the backfield. Only one has safety. I'm tempted to audible to a pass, but let's stick to the run. We get outside of Nick Bosa and Elliott chasing. We are going to try to run through him this time. He does a better job of breaking down. It'll be second down. Three yards to go from the 12-yard line. What do we do here? Do we just kind of run it and just try and get the first down? Nah, I, I, I like the pass here. Let's see. I like the pass, but actually, yeah, okay. Let's just leave it how it is. Uh, okay, they're going to leave the middle wide open. Block from Woods into the end zone. Touchdown, Anthony Richardson. His second rushing touchdown of the game. And we're up 21-3. How did, how did we score our second touchdown? I don't even remember. It had to be a passing touchdown, right? Ah, yes. It was the passing touchdown to Rasheed Rice. Beautiful. One catch, five yards, one touchdown for Rasheed Rice on the game. We're up 21-3 in the first. What's going on now? Hey, if you're enjoying the video, uh, if you want to hit that little thumbs up button, that'd be really cool. Uh, you know, more people would see it. And, you know, if you want to subscribe, that'd be awesome too. So, yeah, uh, that'd be awesome. Thanks. All right, here we go. Here we go. First down, 10 yards to go. Kittle is the primary receiver running this out route. We've got it covered. Purdy's going to scramble now. Ooh. Did you see Kenny Moore lower that shoulder? He was he was getting ready to lay the wood there. Okay, all right. Second down, one yard to go. Dot in the eye is McCaffrey. Use check is also there. Is that going to be a false start or an offsides? That's a false start. We love to see it. Uh, the 49ers offensive line, you know, no longer has Trent Williams. They have a second-year left tackle, who I believe is star development. And then they've got a rookie right tackle, who I believe is superstar development. But he got injured earlier this game. I'm not sure if he's back in yet. Here we go. Oh, McCaffrey again. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh, I mean, look. He's averaging like 10-plus yards of carry. You had to think he was going to break free at some point. What can I say? Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, Kadarius Sony. Oh, to the 40, to the 30. Oh, all the way back to the 19-yard line. Made my voice crack. Absolutely the biggest kick return I've gotten this entire franchise. What a beautiful thing. All right, here we go. First play of the drive coming out five wide. Looks like they're going to maybe blitz this safety and have man-to-man -man on Bab. No, they're bracketing Bab there. I mean, they just leave the middle wide open again for me to run all the way down to the one-yard line. What? Do, I mean, we're going to take it every day, all day. Let's actually toss this one. Nah, nah, we're going to audible here. RPO alert with the bubble screen. We're going to hand it off. JT into the end zone. Touchdown. The huge kick return from Kadarius Tony, plus a scramble up the middle from Anthony Richardson, makes it an easy touchdown for Jonathan Taylor. And somehow we get the momentum right back after a long Christian McCaffrey touchdown. It's 28 to 10 here, six minutes remaining in the half. All right, here we go, y'all. First down and 10. McCaffrey by himself in the backfield. Gonna take the handoff. 
Oh my gosh, just runs through Tevin Harvey. Man, I have love for Tevin Harvey. He was the first prospect that I really fell in love with in this franchise. But he was normal dev, and he has remained normal dev. And he's not very good at tackling, which is partially on me, right? Because I... Oh my gosh. I choose his upgrade path. No, not the priest, bro. Not Brendan Priester. He's like the anchor to our defense, and he's headed to the locker room. Out for the game. That means we're going to see a lot of Shaq Leonard this game. Which, you know, he's not completely washed yet, but... Oh! Oh! Nick Cross, how do you not pick that off? Torn labrum for Brendan Priester means he's going to be out for probably three games after this. So maybe the remainder of the regular season. We see Dom Vic come in right here. Um, I might need to make some changes to my linebacker depth chart here. Oh, God. Nice hit. Eight carries for 175 for McCaffrey. That's absurd. All right, first to 10 here. Man, losing the Priest. That stinks. Oh, Dio Odeyingbo, though, says I'm still here. Four minutes remaining and a half. Can we hold them to another field goal here? That would be ideal. But, you know, I'm, you know, I'm not asking for much. I'm not asking for a turnover. Just hold them to a field goal. They are going to hand it off again. He makes Trenton Simpson miss. But Kenny Moore is there to make the tackle. This is probably Kenny Moore's final season as a Colt. If I had to guess, I think he's one of the ones we need to re-sign. And um, I just don't know that the budget and the fit is there. But man, what a cult he's been. Oh, they're going to run a draw here to McCaffrey. Why not, man? Hey, look. Honestly, it gets them into sure field goal range. It gave them a chance at the first down because of how poor my run defense is. But not a horrible play call there. Not a horrible play call. I don't hate it. Here comes the field goal here. 43 yards for Jake Moody is up and good. His second of the game. It's going to make it 28-13 here. All right, we got us about two and a half minutes to work with here. Um, let's see. Yeah. Okay, I like this. Just no mistakes, right? No mistakes. Uh, I'm, I'm totally fine with taking a two-yard sack there. We're going to let it run to the two-minute warning. And kind of reassess afterward, I think. All right, first play out of the two-minute warning. We're hitting our weekly slip screen right here. So if we can break it for a decent amount, that's good. If not, then the clock probably keeps running, and that's good. So, uh, nice block, Quentin Nelson. Oh, man. Okay, I like that. I like that. So, you know, we're not going to know huddle or anything, but if we get the first, we get the first. If we don't, we don't. We killed some time. So... Let's uh, run this little Y sale here. I like to put the slot on a little drag. Uh, honestly, let's put JT in the block right here. Give us a little extra help for Nick Bosa, and let's go. We're going over the middle. That's Tyler Babb. Let's go. Filling in, and now we'll go no huddle. Now we'll go no huddle, and let's hit him with the RPO right here. Because we do have three timeouts. We're going to hand it off. JT up the middle. Only his fifth carry of the game. And now let's call a timeout. Let's go, boys. Beautiful. We're cooking now. We're cooking on offense. All right, here we go. First down and 10. They're playing a little bit off here. Uh, if we can get some good blocking, though. I don't hate this. Mm, it didn't really work out how I planned. Good job getting rid of it. No sacks. Nick Bosa was... Licking his lips going after Anthony Richardson right there, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, man. Anyway, um, second down and 10 coming up. 50 seconds remaining. And, look, they're leaving Jelani Woods kind of uncovered here. I would love to catch him. Oh, uh, man. But we got to watch out for Fred Warner lurking right there. Throw it high. Okay. All right. I mean, hey, we gave him a chance. We gave him a chance. I, I didn't want Fred Warner to, to pick that off. Okay, third down, 10 yards to go. Nothing crazy because we are in field goal range. Let's see if we can pick up the first. 
Michael Pittman. Oh, nice play from Fred Warner. Gets out in front of it. It was a little bit behind Pittman, but that's okay. We're going to set up for a 54-yarder right here. Evan McPherson. This should be a piece of cake. It's going to go up and good, and we're going to take a 18-point lead. Math is really hard, y'all. Uh, yeah, 18-point lead here right before the half. Uh, as long as we can stop them. All right, y'all, here we go. First down, 10 yards to go. No big plays here. No big plays. Oh, my gosh. I mean, we'll take that. Let's just call a timeout, honestly. I don't know. Actually, I don't know why I called a timeout. They're probably going to run the ball here and get, like, 30 yards. No, okay, they're passing it. Second down, 20 yards to go. They're going to go underneath to Reed Fitzsimmons, the rookie. I doubt that they call a timeout or go no huddle right here. Uh, third down and 13. Yeah, it looks like they're just going to run the clock out. Let's let's move everybody up. Shoot this gap, hopefully. Oh, my gosh. Tackle him. Jeez. <laughs> All right, into the first half. Let's take a look at these stats so far. Because this is the, uh, that was the best half of football we've played in about four weeks. Uh, 101 rushing yards, 156 passing. They've got negative 32 passing because we've got like five sacks already, which is a lot more than we normally get. So, yeah, I mean, we, we only gave JT about five to ten carries. Probably like six carries in the first half. So, in the second half, got to feed him, try to kill some clock, uh, make no mistakes, but still kind of stay aggressive and hopefully come away with a huge win. All right, second half action. Here we go. Just going to start it off. Oh, I was going to say with a read option. How is Fred Warner in the zone right now? They gave up 31 points. I guess he did break up a pass. Uh-oh. Sacked on the very first play of the half. That's really not how we want to start things. Let's. I, I, I got to run the ball at least once per drop, right? I mean, with Jonathan Taylor and Anthony Richardson. Oh, oh. Go. All right, all right, we'll take that. We'll take that. Third and six coming up. Third down, six yards to go. Um, hmm. If if Warner gets cleared out by Woods, we might have a, an opening to Pittman here. That's what we're going to go for. Nice, dude, Michael Pittman, Mr. Reliable. Got to get the first down, down to the 40-yard line. Uh, really, really good job there. Let's go just straight up run the football right here. Halfback dive straight at Fred Warner. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, JT. That was slick, brother. All right, first down of 10. Just keeping keeping the run game going here. They're going to keep crashing. We're going to keep going. Uh, I'd, I'd like to take less hits, though. So we're just going to slide down. We're not in need of a big play. Matter of fact, getting six, seven yards on first down is almost preferable because we're just killing clock while also moving the ball. So LaVisca Schnock coming in here. Going to get a carry. We did successfully get Warner out of the zone, which is beautiful. We're only going to get two yards there, which is not as beautiful. All right, here we go. Third down and two. Straight up the middle. JT. Can't be stopped, baby. Let's go. I say that, but, man, <laughs> those past couple of weeks when we took those losses, we had some pretty big stops happen. All right. Got to flip this place to the wide side here. A little RPS screen action. We are going to bubble it. Woods leading. Tyler Babb has got some space. Let's go. Down to the 12-yard line. 200 yards passing now for Anthony Richardson on top of his 50 rushing yards. A great game so far. 115 of those yards going to Tyler Babb in the absence of Josh Downs. That's huge. Because honestly, I love Josh Downs. But if we can keep Tyler Babb on a rookie contract instead of re-signing Downs next year, I mean, that's what we got to do, right? But... In order to justify that, we've at least got to get Tyler Babb up to superstar because Josh Downs is X-Factor at this point. All right, second down to seven here. Jelani Woods back at the end zone. Makes the grab! Let's go! That's somebody else that we're going to miss this year or, or next year is Jelani Woods. He's shown no interest in re-signing with us. So um, it's tough. He's not elite for us. 
but he's so big that he's he's able to make these 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 jump ball catches that I really wouldn't feel comfortable throwing to some tight ends. Cause he's what like six seven. It's beautiful. It's beautiful stuff. 38-13. What a great first drop. All right, child. Here we go. Looks like Debo is the primary receiver here, and we're gonna try and make sure that he doesn't get us with that curl. That's fine. Hey, Dom Vic out there. Getting some PT with Brendan Priester out. We have allowed negative 27 passing yards so far this game. The pass rush has been immaculate. All right, here we go. Second down, five yards to go. Okay, I, I, mm. I don't love that they flip this. We're gonna try and flip our D. Uh, oh, whoo, oh, Mark Felix. Mark Felix, you almost did it, you mad lad. Third down, five yards to go coming up. Um, hmm. Let's bring some pressure. Let's br I, we haven't brought a lot of pressure to Brock Purdy, but I think we can do it here. Let's do it. They go underneath, and it's a terrible throw from Brock. Terrible throw. He's under pressure. He's five out of nine for 22 yards. Trash. Trash, trash, trash. Tyler Babb over a thousand yards as a rookie. What a king. Nine touchdowns, too. Just really, really great season so far. All right, now is the time where we start chewing the clock. I mean, we're up by 25. Four and a half. I mean, over halfway through the third quarter. JT's in the zone. I mean, he's only got eight carries this game. He's fresh. Got them fresh legs. Second and one coming up. I mean, we can give it to LaVisca here now that it's second and one. And we'll bring JT back in for first and ten. Ah, barely got it. Makai Becton injured again. I believe that's his third injury this season. And he's headed back to the locker room. He's missed extended time every time. Um, mm, we're going to have to start looking at possibly replacing him. I thought that he would hold down right guard for us for at least a few years, but... Hasn't been great. Anyway, back at it here. They're going to crash down. Jelani does not block Fred Warner. Oh, we get to the outside and get the first down. What a king. Come on, AR5. My man. Dislocate his shoulder. That's very sad. Okay. All right, here we go. First down and 10. Three minutes remaining in the third. JT just takes it up the middle. Oh, he breaks free. Beautiful. Nine yards per carry for Jonathan Taylor, and he's the second best running back in this game. <laughs> all right we're going back to the ground here first and ten now two and a half minutes remaining in the third they are all over this we try to cut back we break two tackles finally lose a yard and that's actually going to knock jt out of the zone it's unfortunate i right, go play action boot here or not really a boot but you know flow into the wide side oh man there's nick bosa that was that's really a bit like his first true impact play. He got in hard there. I, they got four sacks? Wow. Well, all right. Third and 15 coming up. Here's the deal, though. Um, We can make a field goal from here. So, I really would just prefer to not take a sack. You know what I'm saying? Michael Pittman? Ah! Wasn't a great throw, but it's okay. We can hit this field goal here. 50 yards for Evan McPherson. And just kind of extend our lead while killing clock. It's a beautiful thing. This is how you win football games. Kyle Shanahan, take notes. When you're up, run the football. All right, here we go. Here we go. First down, 10 yards to go. Minute and a half. Or no, just a minute remaining in the, in the quarter. You know... This has just been a really great game for us. Good stop there by Shaq Leonard. I really hate that it's been marred by the fact that we lost Brendan Priester and Mikai Becton. It looks like for multiple weeks. Come on, y'all. Let's get lined up. Uh, not that it matters. They're going to run it, and Brian Burns tracks him down from the weak side. It'll be third down and three. Brian Burns really making an impact here. Let's go ahead and come out in the quarters here. Let's go, boys. Third and three, last play of the third quarter. Purdy in the shotgun next to McCaffrey. He's going to go to the flats there. Ah! 
Kenny Moore, nice tackle. Would have been better if we could have prevented the catch. But hey, after three quarters, we've still given up negative 20 passing yards. Just an insane game from our defense so far. We're up 41-13. Let's get this done. First down, 10 yards to go. Purdy in the backfield. Bunch set to the right with Kittle in line. They are going to go to Kittle. Ayuk ran that little crossing route. Kind of froze me there. That's all right. Second and three upcoming. Let's run a little uh, cover three. We're going to show blitz, but we're not, not blitzing. Let's go. A lot of crossing routes upcoming. Hey, but we'll take that. We'll take this all day. This little dink and donk. Four or five yards from Brock Purdy. We like that because the clock is running. We're up by 28 points. So, you know, they need four scores. No matter what, honestly. Nice play by Mark Felix. Forcing the incompletion. It'll be second and ten now. He's done a really good job logging down Devo Samuel this game. Uh, after being exposed by Stefan Diggs a couple of weeks ago, he started kind of locking it in. Second and ten upcoming. Purdy in the backfield with McCaffrey. We can't give up this hitch. They're going to go outside of Debo. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Third down, 10 yards to go right here. Uh, Don't let him get that deep pass. No. Tevin Harvey, what are you doing? That's your responsibility, man. Uh, dude, Tevin Harvey is really quickly falling out of my good graces. 41-20 here. I mean, not that... I don't feel like we're in danger of losing or anything, but I would have really loved to not give up a big passing play for once in my life. All right, all right. Here we go. First down, 10 yards to go. Back to killing some clock. Nick Bosa seems to be in the zone, which we don't love. But you know what? JT is still the best, man. Six yards there. The number four ranked 49ers rushing defense has given up 181 rushing yards today. A little bit of damage from JT, a little bit of damage from AR5, and we sprinkle a little LaVisca Chenault in there just to keep people fresh, as we're doing here. Nice move there. Four rushes, 22 yards for LaVisca. All right, back out of here. Seven and a half minutes left. But in a trap play. Uh, yeah, nice, nice, nice. Good stuff. Over 100 yards for JT. All right, they tempted me. They put a play action pass in the, in the Ask Coach menu, so that's what we're going to do. We cannot get sacked by Nick Bosa here, though, right? Throw it to Rasheed Rice. Get out. Oh! Dang it, man. All right, we're going to read off of Bosa here since he's in the zone. He's going to crash, so we'll keep it. Uh, they do a great job of playing it. AR gets back upfield. Uh, we've got to punt this, man. It hurts my it hurts my pride to punt it. But it's gonna be, they're going to get the ball back with less than six minutes left, and we're still up three scores. So, I ain't mad at it. All right, here we go, y'all. First and 10. Why am I using a D-line here? All right. They're going to go underneath. Once again, we, we don't mind this. Keep them in bounds. Keep the clock running. It's fine. You know, I mean, five and a half minutes left. We're all good here. We don't mind it. Second and inches coming up. They're going to go underneath again. That's McCaffrey. Fine totally cool clock still running as chris berman would say tick 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 and yeah, normally i would like you know shade underneath or something like but we're, we're fine with the underneath passes we don't want to give up the big passes that we're totally fine with second down 10 yards to go mccaffrey in the backfield bunch to the left here with debo kittle and reed fitzsimmons uh oh they're gonna go to mccaffrey again he breaks one tackle, but we keep him in bounds. Tick, 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 tick. Third down, three yards to go. Can we get a stop? Oh, they're going to run a draw, and it's Derek Brown, the former Auburn Tiger with a huge tackle. His first of the game, and now it's fourth and two. All right, they're going to line up three tight here. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, let's go, boys. We need to stop. Get through. Get, no, 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 There goes McCaffrey. And Tevin Harvey saves the touchdown. 238 yards passing for McCaffrey so far. 
or rushing for McCaffrey this game. Unbelievable. Thrown away by Purdy. It'll be second and ten. I feel about a little Tampa 2 right here in the red zone. Got Rajul Douglas covering Debo right here. They go underneath. Reef and Simmons makes a nice play, but hey, clock's still ticking. Clock's still ticking. We're blitzing right here. Yes, Kenny Moore on the corner blitz. Let's go. Come on, fourth and nine right here. We just need one more stop. Nick Cross playing center field right here. They're going to go outside. Jalen Jones tips it down. IU can't make the catch. And that should pretty much do it here. Uh, let's run this clock out, boys. JT, let's go. Atta boy. Atta boy. Let's let this run down to the two-minute warning. All right, first play after the two-minute warning, we're going to hand it off to JT. He's going to get the first down. They are not going to call any timeouts, so that's just going to be it. We're going to kneel this clock out and get out of here with a huge win. And there is the final kneel down from Anthony Richardson. We will see you when the clock hits triple zero. And there it is. Coach Harbaugh picking up a win against his former team. Really a must-win game after the, the horrible losses that we took against Buffalo and Los Angeles. No, I keep wanting to say Los Angeles. We beat them. It's Buffalo and Jacksonville. So, really, really great. Let's take a look here at some stats. Obviously, we did a great job containing the pass game. Got a lot of sacks. But honestly, we only finished with 70 more total offensive yards than them. They had 260 rushing and 66 passing. We had 203 rushing and 191 passing. I mean, hey, we didn't really have to pass the ball at all in the second half. No turnovers from either team is pretty impressive. Uh, five out of five in the red zone for us. O out of three for them. I mean, that's 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 the difference right there. Player stats. I mean, Purdy doesn't play terribly, but he was under pressure a lot. 14 out of 22, 121, and a score most of that in garbage time. Uh, 12 out of 18 for Anthony Richardson. Two touchdowns, no picks. Love to see that. Only 209 yards, which is not good for his kind of record-setting pace that he's on. But JT had 114 and a score. McCaffrey with 238 and a score. That's just terrible. 67 and two scores for Anthony Richardson. Good for his MVP bid. Uh, Tyler Babb, five for 115 with Josh Downs out. Really stepped up. Three for 67 for Michael Pittman. Two for 15 and a score for Jelani Woods. The other score was Rasheed Rice. And then Ayuk scored on his only catch of the game, a 47-yarder. Brian Burns, two and a half sacks. Nick Bosa, one and a half. Uh, Dio Odiingbo had one and a half, really stepping up since we traded Chase Young. Just beautiful stuff. Uh, really, really sad to see that Brendan Priester was injured. We're going to have to see. Let's just clean up the end of the week, see how long he's going to be out. All right, all right. Uh, Ten staff points there. Okay, got, got some. Man, what a what a salt in the wound moment there. We're uh, upgrading Brendan Priester, and we will also see how long he is out. Uh, as we do that so let's just go ahead and take a look out for four weeks so we're going to advance this week so that means we're going to miss him for three games uh this was week 14 so 15 16 17 he'll be back for the last game of the regular season but that's that's a really huge loss let's go ahead and bump his run stopper here man really really big loss there but that's okay that's okay never fret i'm glad we didn't trade Shaq leonard we were thinking about it but Held on to him and turns out to be a good move. All right, Evan McPherson with the upgrade. Very nice dub. Uh, anything else to do here? Oh, oh, I forgot about that scenario. We were in team turmoil, man. Let's take a look at the results of this. Oh, whew. great win, guys. That's what I call Colts football defense. Fantastic job out there today. Let's build on it and keep the momentum rolling. Shaq's like, hey, man. I stepped in. Let's keep bringing that intensity. Plus five morale for all offensive players. Let's go. All defensive players will have plus five play rec for the next two games. That's huge because we're still fighting for the playoffs. So, all right. Go ahead and take a look. Uh, we already know. So we're getting Josh Downs and Connor Stott to back next week. Makai Becton not out for multiple weeks. So that's very good. Uh, Brendan Priester will be out for multiple weeks, though. Very, very sad. 
but that's okay. That's okay. We got a huge win. Um, hopefully puts us back in the playoff picture because we've got some big games coming up still. The Titans might not look like a big game, but as you can see, they're eight and four. We've already lost to them once this this year. They're pretty freaking good. They've got a really good defense. So anyway, hey, that's going to wrap up this episode of Coast Franchise. As always, I really, really appreciate y'all. If you enjoy the content, please hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, turn on your notifications so you know when the next video goes live. Please leave a comment below and let me know the quality of this. I did a test stream just to see if I could stream and record at the same time. Um, my computer is not the best for streaming. Let's just be real. Uh, we already know that there's some frame rate drops every once in a while when I'm only recording. So we'll see how this goes. If the quality is bad, I'm sorry. Um, and we'll just, we'll just go back to regular recording next time. But... All that being said, I appreciate y'all and I will see you next week. Peace out.